The story of the Tamil Nadu election is quite like that of a T20 final cricket match. The slog overs, the pinch hitting, the slug fest, the freebies galore and also stars who have changed their stripes. An 8 to 5 job for Tamil Nadu's 4.7 crore voters to give either Jayalalitha or Karunanadi a five-year mandate to rule the state. Both these Dravidian heavyweights have wooed the electorate with freebies, mixies, grinders, laptops, gold, even goats and cows. Although officially the campaign ended at 5 p.m. on Monday, there's been no let-up in the political temperature. The daggers were out even on polling day. The government is not prepared to pay them the 300 rupees and they have threatened that they will go on strike. That will uh, give room for incidents of violence, breakdown of law and order and in, under this cover the ruling party, the DMK, plans to cast a number of false votes, bogus votes by scaring away the voters. This election has witnessed star wars of a different kind with actors rooting for both sides. But the biggest superstar remained neutral. The ruling DMK has rubbished opinion polls predicting an edge for the AIA DMK owing to a possible 2G backlash. I think the English news channels would love to beat the DMK on all these issues. But let's be very clear, let's look at uh, Tamil Nadu from Tamil Nadu, not from Delhi or Mumbai or anywhere else. In Tamil Nadu, people are very, very clear they want Kalingar. Because he has delivered. He has, whatever he has promised, he has delivered. Southern Tamil Nadu will be a litmus test not just for the electoral outcome, but also for the DMK's Madurai strongman who plans to return to Tamil Nadu politics. If uh, MK Stalin has to win Kolathur constituency, then you have to win 58 seats right in South Tamil Nadu. Mr. Stalin is in Tamil Nadu. I don't know if I'm in Tamil Nadu. So this has been the shortest or the most bitter campaign in Tamil Nadu and also the longest wait for the results in the history of elections in the state exactly a month with Radhika Ayer in Madurai and Sam Daniel in Chennai, Sanjay Pinto, NDTV. All right, cash has been flowing like water in this election in Tamil Nadu and it's over to Radhika Ayer in Madurai for all the news from that region. Radhika? Thanks, Sanjay. Uh, the popular saying goes that when it comes to political colour, then Tamil Nadu is the, is the state that tops the country. And, and now it seems that when it comes to political cash, then uh, again, Tamil Nadu seems to be that state which tops the list. And this election season, uh, we've seen many firsts. We've seen a lot of stars jumping constituencies. We've seen uh, uh, the first time that the maximum number of EVMs came down to uh, uh, Chennai and, of course, in Madurai, the big uh, cities where there was polling. And we also saw... Uh, uh, the highest number of central forces being deployed this election season to ensure that nothing really goes wrong and and so uh, they had it their way they ensured that nothing went wrong and that uh, minor incidents of uh, uh, violence and tension were also immediately taken care of paid attention to and curbed right there to ensure that Tamil Nadu voted in the most peaceful manner in several years this perhaps is will be an example that uh, the state has set uh, to say that this was a uh, peaceful polling as uh, Tamil Nadu has always wanted. But coming back to political cash, like we've been saying, uh, the election commission says that till yesterday their job was on, even till t this early this morning, their job was on to try and crack down on those allegedly trying to distribute cash and they say that more than 50 crore rupees was actually seized over the last about 25 to 30 days. In fact, today when I met with uh, many voters belonging to different regions, different castes, they say that they were all offered money by political candidates from across party lines and here is a special report in the history of Tamil Nadu politics this election has seen the maximum number of cases of violation filed by the Election Commission in just the last three days 1,400 cases of violation has been reported across the state most of them related to alleged distribution of cash to voters NDTV's cricket app Android and iPhone faster scorecard special analysis and much more download free ndtv.com slash apps